Hi, Bill. Um, I'm I'm your old teacher. Let's open profile four. Flow architecture scheme. I already opened this picture. This building has very special skin. It's very pretty, right? And how can we do it? Let's have a try. Now let's open the Rhino, and we can see this mode. This mode is a、uh, wireframe. You click here, you can find、uh, all the different modes here. And if we switch to shaded, it's like this. And if we switch to rendered. It's like this. For rendered mode, we usually use it to see the whole model. We can see the whole model clearly through rendered. Ghosted, we can see the back of this shape. See, we can see these three lines, the back three lines, right? But for right now, we switch to shaded, and we can also change the color. Red, blue, yellow, gray, or green. I will switch to green. Okay. Now let's start. Find a flow along curve, where you can just type in flow. Click, and select objects to flow along curve. This object. Base curve is a red line. Target curve is this one. So we can have this shape. One more time. Call, repeat previous command. Right click, select object. Base curve. And target curve. So we will have these two shapes here. And when you maximize, you can see there is a one more cross line than this one. Why is that? Okay, I have two lines here to explain it. Okay, this line has two. Points, and for this line has、uh, four points. One, two, three, four. If we extrude them, As you can see, this line is a V line. This shape has two V lines, but this shape has a one, two, three, four V lines. That's why it has more V structure lines than that one. Okay. Now. You can have a try, yeah. Practice it. Thank you.